Happy New Year, everyone. In this video, I'm aiming to show you the benefits of how owning your own website and having an active social media account can get your business, your product, or service before the right people. So, if you would like practical help on how to promote yourself, your business, or social media um, account, just get in touch with me for consultation on the screen. So, let's move. So you have a business and uh, you have a Facebook account. Uh, hopefully by now you know that your Facebook account, the one with the timeline if you did the social interactions, is not ideal for your business because your customers are not in your social account. They will be found on a Facebook page that you will create for, to promote your business product or services. Um, Hopefully, you can see that you're on my page now. I have a timeline and I have uh, this page, which is different. Uh, I've got just under 2.5 thousand followers on this one because these people, majority of them, are interested in information I share here with videos, posts, um, tidbits about uh, creating a residual income. Um, earning extra money, working from home, and so forth. Now, this information is not something that my people on my timeline generally are interested in. They're probably interested in videos and photos of myself and my family, uh, just want to know what I'm getting up to socially. So, if you have a Facebook account just like I do for friends and family, please do market that that is what you're doing the best place to market and promote your business will be on a facebook account uh, page if you don't know how to do that get in touch so i can guide you step to steps and uh, step to, uh, steps how you can go through that also once you've got your page up and running you've done everything you're supposed to do you need to know where your target audience are obviously on facebook that's why you're there and majority of them will be coming to your page because of what it is you have to be able to see now. I tried to do this before in previous account uh, that I have a LinkedIn account. Now, this is my social media presence on LinkedIn. Let me try and go there. See, okay. So, my presence here, I promote to people who are. A business like their employees or they own a business these are the people I'm trying to reach so you see what I'm posting is things that are relevant to them now people who are looking to own a website which is the first start the foundation of having an online presence they would uh, look at this person and think oh I'll get in touch with her or I'll follow the link uh, because I feel this is straightforward i don't need to call her or or get in touch but if they needed to do messaging right there because we're connected so you will need to be following me and connected to be able to use that resource now let me move that one so we're not uh loading this page now i've got a twitter account as well uh this one i do post some social things from time to time let's just go quickly through uh like a christmas period and new year it's nice to let people know you're human so i did that but generally i'm posting about consultation brand awareness uh, marriage people want to build stronger marriages because i started first with love nurture and that's still the core uh, couples do need to understand that they need to leave an inheritance to their children's children how do they go about that will their salary from a job alone be enough maybe not so that's where that comes in so this is another website I have, erobuyer.com. I started first with erobuyer, so it's all about products and services that I offer to uh, people looking. But because I have a website, they can find me. They don't need to have me chase them or call them down be, uh, when they're not looking. When they're looking, they type in the right keywords, I'll pop up. And this is important to understand. You need to have the right keywords on any on your, of your social media sites so that people can come looking for you. For example, let's go back here. The keywords I chose here were social media marketing for small businesses and so forth. And that's how we got to 
this video, this is how you probably got to this video that you're looking at now. Maybe you're a small business, you want to brand yourself, you want to get your business before more eyes that are not necessarily people who are just browsing, but people who are actually interested and potentially can become customers. So let's close down Twitter. So let's go over here because before I lost it. Um, this, uh, moving away from what I have, I've done one for my church. Now, we just started up a few months ago, um, and we have just over 1.2 thousand followers. And these are not members of our church. Not all of them are members of our church. A few people are members of our church. Even on my page, I have a few friends that I did uh, request to follow. But then I clocked on that. Look, my friends, although they may love me, friends and family, they may not be interested in what it is I have to offer. So I moved away from that and I started advertising, which is something you need to do. You do uh, get customers mainly through advertising. You will get followers and customers through the organic route by posting regularly. And this is very important. They need to know that you are consistent, you are up to date, you are current, not you post something five months um, uh, ago and then you come back today and say something and then two months later uh, you're, you've disappeared and no one sees you again uh, till about three third month when you just come in and say something. So you need to be consistent. You do need to interact. This feature here, very important. If you want to understand how you can uh, never lose a customer, a potential customer, someone showing an interest, uh, um, asking you a question, how to get back to them in a timely fashion. Do get back to me for a consult on that. Now, um, I'll close down that one. I'd like to refer you here to uh, my latest website. Uh, I'm the award-winning author of the upcoming book, as you can see here, Branding 101, Turning Your Passion to Profit. And it's all about teaching businesses, network marketers, affiliate marketers, people working from home, how to brand themselves, how to get themselves before the right customers. And you can do this whether you have a physical product, whether you're an affiliate marketer, or you just pro provide a service, baking, cooking, uh, you, you give talks, this is where you start. You do need to have a website. It's your online presence. It's it what tells your it's what tells your potential customers about you, what you are, uh, who you are, what you do, and uh, other things they would like to know. How to contact you? How to connect with you? Uh, if it is, if there is any way you can help them, this is where they will find out about that. Just having a social media account is not enough. The reason being, it doesn't show you to be reputable because a social media account like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn that I showed you, they're free. You didn't pay for them. So anyone can wake up and just own a social media account. But where you've taken the time to pay for a social uh, a website um, and a place where people can find you, erobuyer.com, you need to email me now. Now, you can email info at aerobio.com and I'll get it. It's paid for service. It's shown that I've committed myself to provide valuable service. I'm not here uh, to fly by night. So this is what people want. This is why you need to have a website in case you were thinking, why do I need a website? Then back on social media, you now promote yourself to your um, potential customers who we know are on social media, but they've come to socialize. So the way you do it is you post regularly. It can be videos, it could be tidbits, it could be uh, just sharing some useful information that can benefit potential customers, but do that on your page, linking back to your website, and then they can get in touch with you. And remember, you do need paid advertising to get your post before more eyes. Uh, target marketing is the way to go, but you do need to have the groundwork of a website and an email address that is connected to your website so that people can see you as a business, as a serious business, and then they can take it from there. So I hope this has been useful. Anything more you need to know about do get in touch. 
I do want to keep this short and sweet. Really, thank you for your time. Do share these videos with other people and do leave your comments below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.